All right, George here. Uh, I'm new to the show. Uh, we got Sam Morse here, owner of the Las Vegas Lightning. Uh, Sam Morse, we know you've got an absolute unit of a team. Uh, some say that you're not as good as the Bombers, but I, some say you're up there. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? You know, I really think they be sleeping. Uh, you know, I really think I did a phenomenal job putting a team together. You know, I'm really proud that these uh, players, such as Jackson Conowitz, Mason Steele, I'm really proud they, they wanted to join my team, you know. Uh, I think it says a lot about my BBL history. You know, I think, think you know, the Lightning, they're one of the franchises that are just notorious for winning. And, you know, I think that a lot of people want to be part of that. And, you know, the, the new organization, the Boston Bobcats, of course, you respect them. Oh, yes. Uh, Ryan Eaton. Big Haas, Hunter Whitman, that other like soccer kid. Um, uh, who else do you think uh, is like being slept on in the league? You know, obviously that soccer kid. You know, I mean, he said it himself. You know, I think he's a tremendous player. You know, you know, Muff. I've actually been in trade talks. Spoiler alert. Uh, I don't think Shane McCaffrey's gonna go with it, but I. I've really been in talks. I've been trying to get him in our organization. And I personally don't usually express my opinion on this show, but I think that would be very good for your organization. Agreed. Uh, a good fit. Um, now, there are talks of you trading Ethan Provost and Freddie Marshall for Muff. Do you really think that that would be the good decision? You know, I really think that's what the trade I've been looking for, you know. Obviously, it's no secret, Ethan Provost, Freddie Marshall are on the trade block. I mean, I've been trying to get rid of them. Uh, you know, I think Muff would have been the guy to get in that trade. Shea's not having it. Uh, I mean, I'm still open to trade talks with them. And um, one thing that I would ask you about that is, uh, is that any disrespect to Ethan Provost and Freddie Marshall? No, no, of course not. You know, Ethan Provost, he's a tremendous player. He's obviously established himself in our league, you know. One of the biggest media guys, you know, he's a great guy. You know, St. Jude's Children's Hospital, he does a lot of fundraisers for them. Uh, you know, Freddie Marshall, eh, he's an all right guy, but I, uh, I mean, I am slightly disrespecting him. I don't really want him in my organization. I think it was a mistake to sign him. And, and uh, Obviously, the, the, the sad breakup of the Birmingham Bombers that I believe you were a fan of as a child, mm -hmm. as well as of me. Um, I think they were a really a fan favorite, dating all the way back from just about like five years ago. Uh, just as a child, I think all of us could remember the Birmingham mm -hmm. Bombers, and we were all fans of them. You know, uh, Domingo is a personal friend of mine. Uh, Ryan Canty, I've known him forever. Used to cry when I'd hit triples off him in Little League. Uh, Muff, you know, former teammate of mine in Little League. You know, it's really just sad to see them break up, obviously. Rest in peace, Domingo. Uh, you know, it's really sad to see them go. I mean, they are really established. I think they were a fan favorite. They were obviously, you know, one of the fan favorites. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. They were an absolutely tremendous team. And um, there's talks about... Uh Muff and his recent addictions to drugs. Um, are you keeping that in mind, trying to get him on your team? You know, I really think that in Las Vegas, you know, tremendous city, wonderful. I think we have the programs to get him the help he needs. I think that's the reason why we're a good fit. You know, obviously I've kept that in mind. I mean, he's been struggling recently. I think I've heard he's gone through rehab. Usually there's a relapse somewhere in there, you know. I don't know. I'm really concerned for him. I think Las Vegas has the right things he needs. And you think that you can protect him from the withdrawal? Oh, I, I think we can. You know, I really have faith in our city. Um, and so much about Las Vegas being such a nice city. Uh, what's the favorite? What What's some of the favorite things that you like about Las Vegas and playing there for so many oh, yeah. years? I love to get my party on after the game, you know. Big win. I like to go out to the 
Go out to the strip club, quite frankly. I uh, assume you uh, sip it on that champagne, huh, buddy? Oh, yeah. I take the boys out. You know, we have a good time. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to get into that with league policy, but, uh, you know, we have a good time. We gamble it up. We're, we're living our best lives. Um, I just want to say uh, I totally agree, you know, myself. I don't have to contour to league policies, so, you know, I like to go to Las Vegas. It's a good see city. I like to see myself a uh, lightning game. I um, mm -hmm. like to sip on some champagne in the booth. Uh, it, man, your organization's just been a joy to watch through all Thank these you. years. It means a lot. Um, now, there have been uh, recent talks of your uh, sponsorship with CJ Design Build. Oh, yes. Of course. Uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Cliff Collins, great friend of mine, you know, he's actually going to be funding our construction of our new stadium in Las Vegas. You know, this is obviously big news, but uh, we're going to have a new stadium. And I heard talks about him building that stadium, maybe even constructing private jets for all of your players. Uh, I don't know about for all of our players. However, you know, obviously a team jet, that's in order. We'll be having that coming in the coming season. You know, with the expansion recently, there's going to be some long plane rides. You know, we got Boston, you know, Toronto, you know. We have Houston, you know. We get some long plane rides. I think we are uh, one of the farther teams from the rest of the league. And by a percentage out of 100, what do you think your chances are to win the Backyard Baseball World Series? You know, George, I got to go with 110%. You know, don't think we can lose. Bold statement there. Is that a shot at Mr. Eaton and the Bobcats? I think it is, you know. I mean, I don't really see it, you know, large Haas. He's a nobody. Yeah, I, but I mean, you know, you got that, you got that soccer kid. I think that you can actually, I think that you can compete with you guys. No, I agree with you. I, I don't know. I think with likes of Ethan Provost, we could definitely be a higher par team than they are. And... Uh, talks about Ethan Provost going away. Do you think Muff can fill that gap and win those oh, games for you? Most definitely. I think, really, this season it's going to come down to whoever, whatever team has Muff on the roster, quite frankly. You know, with the Hornets, I think players like Shea McCaffrey just have too much of a negative effect to really let Muff shine truly. So myself, George Jurgensen, uh, uh, brother of Leaf Jurgensen, uh, I hope he heard that because I believe the same. I think whatever roster has Riley Muff is going to win it all. I think he's got the power. He's got the speed. You name it. This kid's got it. He's got the ERA of 0, 0.00, even though he's never played a game. Hey, he's a fan favorite. You know, he, and you know why? He's a prospect. That's why he's never played a game. Uh, from the Birmingham Bombers, a fan favorite. I think we both I agree. can reflect on that as of earlier. Uh, I just want to thank you for your input on Muff because I oh. totally respect Muff as a player. Of course. Well, uh, you know, George, as a sibling of Kieran Jurgensen, I'd just like to ask you, what are your thoughts on him? What, do you, what path do you think he's going to take up in the upcoming season? Well, the Preds. The Preds, the Preds, the Preds. I think Eric Simpkins is going to be the ace, obviously. Kieran Jurgensen, he's kind, of, he's kind of slept on. This guy's mm. got some talent. Um, Isaac Bergeron, he's, he's got a really nice big glove that's really stiff. I think that makes him play better. Um, uh -huh. You know, Isaac Bergeron doesn't like Mako Bats, blames his batting skill on Mako Bats. <laughs> um, I still think that he's got the power of that team. I, I could agree with that, you know. Preds, I'm really thinking they might, you know, pull it out, might have a 16-0 season. Well, you know, I, I gotta strongly disagree with that. 
I think that Isaac Bergeron isn't that good at hitting. And I think um, Eric Simpkins is, will be the ace, but does that really mean that he's a higher level of pitcher, such as my brother Leif Jurgensen's player, Danny Record? I really don't think so. You know, Danny's a really good player. What else can I say? Now, I agree. Of course, me losing the Birmingham Bombers, I am definitely a Scorpions fan after that. Um, you know, good luck, Leif Jurgensen, my brother. I just want to say a shout-out to Leif and uh, the kids back at their house. Um, all I can say is uh, get Muff and you're set. You know, I'd really like to just have... One last quick chat with you, you know, obviously, Danny Rickert, he can turn the tide of a franchise, you know, yes, he sir. saw that as he joined the Scorpions, I, really, what do you, where do you think we'd, where do you think we'd be right now if he joined the Predators and not the Scorpions? If he joined the Predators, well, you know, Isaac Bergeron, he can't handle all of the weight with hitting, and I think that he's really feeling all of that weight, really. Knowing Kieran is good in the season, but it falls apart in the postseason. So I see, I see if Danny Ricker went to the Preds, which I highly think that that would not happen. Um, very unlikely. Um, I actually had a talk with him the other day about leaving the Scorpions and like if he would, and he said. Well, you know, I don't really know. I'm really happy with the Scorpions. They gave me a good contract. Um, Danny Ricker, he's got a really good arm. I think that he brings everything to the table. Even if he's not a 100 rating, as our commissioner would say, um, he still brings everything to the table. You know, I... Uh... I got some trade talks to get back into. I'd, I'd really like to thank you for having me on the show today. Thank you.